Hi, this is Mr. Post. On today's session of Extra Help, we'll be learning how to count significant figures in measurements. We'll be looking at two sets of numbers, numbers with decimals and numbers without decimals. And there's different rules for the different styles of numbers. The first measurement is 50,000 meters. 50,000 meters is a measurement, and it does not have any decimal places, so therefore, I'm going to draw an arrow coming in from this side. When the arrow hits a zero, it actually will go all the way through the zeros, and it will stop when it hits a real number. When it hits a real number, the five, I start counting the numbers that remain. This problem has only one number that remains, therefore it has one significant figure. The next number has no decimals either, so therefore I'm coming in this direction. My arrow stops when it hits a real number. In the previous problem, I had zeros to go through. On the current problem, I don't have any zeros. I hit the one, and I have to stop. And I count the numbers that remain. I count one, two, three. That's right, even the zero in the middle gets counted. In the following measurement, there's no decimal places, so therefore my arrow comes in this way. All right, I've hit some zeros. In this case, as before, I will go through the zeros and I stop going through when I hit a real number. I hit a two, it's a real number, and I count the numbers that remain. There are one, two numbers that remain. This has two significant figures. And let me just back up a second. This problem had three significant figures. So all, L, all, excuse me, all numbers that don't have decimal points, I am coming in from the right into the left, and I stop when I hit a real number, and I count the numbers that remain. This problem has three numbers that are important, three significant figures. Here we go. There are no decimal places, so therefore, once again, I am coming in from this direction. I hit the three, I stop, and I count the numbers that remain. One, two, three. There are three significant figures, or three significant numbers in my measurement. And lastly, I come in this way, there are no zeros to go through, I hit the three, I have one significant figure. This set of numbers, they all have decimal places, and let's just highlight that, here's a decimal place right there, that's going to be 50,000.5 meters. And whenever I deal with a number that has a decimal place, I'm simply going to count my sig figs by drawing an arrow coming in this direction. As before, I go through all zeros, and I stop when I hit a real number. I'm going to stop at 5. Once I stop, I count all the numbers that remain. That's right, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 significant figures in that first measurement. Well, here's a decimal place, so therefore my arrow is going to come in from the left. I hit the 5, I stop. Once I start counting, I count them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five significant figures. Okay, I see a decimal point. Decimal point indicates I'm coming in from the left. Draw my arrow. There are no zeros, so I stop right at the 1. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are seven significant figures. Okay, finally we get to some zeros here. So I have a decimal point, and I've been waiting to get some zeros. Here's my decimal point right there. I'm going to come from the left, and as I did in the previous slide, I'm going to go through the zeros. Whatever zeros I start out with, they are not significant, and I'm going to go through them. And once I hit a real number, I stop and I count the remaining numbers. There are one, two, three, four, five, six remaining numbers that are significant. It says six significant figures. This measurement here is my decimal point. The decimal point tells me I'm coming in from the left-hand side. I hit the four, I stop, and I count one, two, three, four significant figures. And the last problem is a decimal point. And I'm coming in this way. And I have one, two significant figures. Two significant figures. All these numbers have one significant figure. I'm just quickly going to draw my arrows. No decimals, this way, there's one number left. No decimals, this way, there's one number left. No number, no decimal, go through the zeros, there is one number left. No decimals, 
no decimals, no decimals. So all these have one significant figure. I could also have one significant figure with decimals. The only difference is I'm going through the zeros in a different direction. Each one of these problems will have one number that is significant, one number that is remaining. And just training yourself which direction to go with your arrow when you are counting the number of significant figures. Okay, these numbers are mixed. Uh, first thing I want to do here is uh, just see which ones are decimal points. I have a decimal point right there, a decimal point right there, a decimal point right there. A good idea for you to do right now, if you're listening to this, would be put the pause uh, the recording, pause the little video, and take a couple minutes to determine the answers for yourself. And then let me come back and do the answers afterwards. So in the top part of the screen, there should be a, a bar that you could allow, you'd be allowed to pause the screen in. So pause it and take a shot at this. Alright, I'm going to solve this. 5,000 meters, there's no decimals. I come in from this side, I count one significant figure. 501 feet, there are no decimals, no decimals. I just come in through this way. There are no zeros this time, therefore I count one, two, three significant figures. I see a decimal place right here. So we have the decimal. I'm coming in this way, I go through the zeros, and I start counting when I hit the two. I have one, two, three. Yeah, these last two zeros, they are important. Once you start counting, you don't stop. You count all the remaining numbers. There are three significant figures in that measurement. Decimal point, I got a lot of zeros. My arrow will go through all of them. Once I hit the three, I count everything. One, two, three, four, five. And there are five significant figures. Ten has a decimal place, therefore I'm coming in this direction with my arrow. I hit the one, and I count one, two, three significant figures. I have three significant figures in that measurement. And lastly, there's no decimal place, therefore I'm coming in this direction. Go through the zero. I hit the three, and I count the remaining numbers. The remaining numbers, there are two of them. Two significant figures. This slide just gives the same uh, measurements as before, but with some answers to them. No, I apologize, it's not the exact same numbers, but they do give uh, the number of significant figures in these numbers. And this screen actually just has arrows built in already, showing which direction my arrows would be going, and counting the, the number of sig figs from the previous screen. And so in closing, anytime I have a decimal point, my arrow is going in, as this arrow shows, from the left to the right, going through all the zeros, stopping at a real number, and counting the remaining numbers. When I don't have decimal places, I come in from this direction. And I go through the zeros, and I count the remaining numbers. And if you just train yourself to do that, significant figures will not be a problem at all. Test yourself on these. How many significant figures do you have? Pause the screen, and you can wait for my answer then. The number of significant figures now revealed. The one I do want to point out is this one down here. A little tricky, uh, 45,000 with a decimal place. That means my arrow is coming in from this direction. Okay, And I would count one, two, three, four, five significant figures. And our last bit of practice before we are finished with our tutorial on significant figures and how to count them, here is a set of 10 numbers. Please take a couple minutes and practice on these. I'm going to give my answers in a second, but press the pause button and try to solve these on your own. Well, here are my arrows, and here's my answers for the number of significant figures. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please see me in school. Have a good night.